Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP hands-on series. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick demo or hands-on lab. In this demo hands-on lab, I'm going to quickly talk about the administrative distance. So just like with any of these IGP protocol, I'm sure you are aware of the administrative distance. Similarly, BGP also has an administrative distance. And I'm sure most of you know that the default administrative distance for eBGP routes is 20 while for IBGP routes and local routes, it has a distance of 200. And if you read majority of the documentation really talks about that these defaults are usually good and correct. And there is really no need to change them. But sometimes you might encounter scenarios where you need to use uh, to make certain route again, you know, preference. So in that case, we can go ahead and change the administrative distance of BGP routes. Again, you know, what you have default is good enough, uh, but again, just depending on the need, you can go ahead and change that. So let's say we have logged, we are using the same topology. This is going to be a quick demonstration. So let's take a look at what is the default. So the way to verify is default, you can say show IP protocols. And once you go ahead and scroll down the show IP protocols, right now it shows for the OSPF, but what we are interested in looking for BGP. So here it says routing protocol is BGP1. And for BGP1, you could see the distance for external is 20. So that means any eBGP, it would be 20. For internal, it's going to be 200 iBGP and the local route is going to be 200. So these are the default values uh, for these different administrative distance on router R1. And the way to change the administrative distance, you would need to go in under your BGP process. And under the BGP process, there is a command by name distance you will need to go ahead and say distance followed by BGP. In that command, there are three arguments that you need to pass. First would be the external distance. Again, the, by default, external distance is 20. If you want to go ahead and change that, you can go ahead and increase or decrease. That next argument is internal distance. So default internal distance is 200. You can go ahead and change that. And the third argument is your local distance. So default is 200. You can need to go ahead and change that. You can simply go ahead and change it. So let's for our quick testing, we can go ahead and play around. So we know on the router R1, the BGP process ID is 1. And we know the default on this router RD is that for eBGP is 20, iBGP is 200, and local I200. So now let's go ahead and simply change our distance. And then we are changing this distance for BGP, followed by it says distance for routes external to the AS. So that means eBGP. What is the, again, the Default is 20. Let's go ahead and change it to 100. The next one is asking for the internal. The default is 200. Let's go ahead and change the internal to 190. And the last but not the least is the local. Default local is 200. So let's go ahead and keep that local to be uh, the same. Way. Go ahead and simply apply the change. Once the changes are done, we can go ahead and verify. Again, to verify what are the default, we could use the command show ID protocol. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And now you could see that external has changed from 20 to 100, internal from 200 to 190, and local we have kept it to 200. So that's how the EGP, you know, we have went ahead and changed the EBGP and IBGP administrative distances simply. And we can go ahead and, you know, take a look at now the, your IP route table. So now if you take a look at the, your BGP, it clearly indicates here, okay, hey, now this is 200 and some of the other routes. So if you take a look at here further now, 20. Now there is another thing that I wanted to mention that to you. This, the change that we made. So before we made this change, we already had certain route. So this change applies only to routes that are received after this, after this particular command that we have entered. Any routes that were received before, will be like you know unaffected so think of it just like similar to filters so again to refit uh, the changes are only applied to routes that are received after the commands not anything before that so if you want to really go ahead and apply the changes because right now we could see like there are some 20s and all so we can go ahead and simply clear the bgp process so let's go ahead and try that clear IBP, bgp and start now give it a few seconds, the BGP numbers went down and we could see now the BGP sessions are back. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the our route table once more. And now in the route table, okay, give it a few more seconds. 
BGP table is still converging. Uh, the neighbors did came up, so give a few more seconds. And let's re verify. We are still waiting. Let's verify the IPBGP summary. Yep, neighbors are up. Okay. Let's take a look at the show IPBGP. Okay. Let's give a few more seconds, I guess. BGP is not known for the fast convergence anywhere, so let's keep on a couple more times okay now we are getting now if you take a look at earlier it was 200 now it is being reported as 190 it was 20 now it is being reported as 100 so we could see now the new administrative distance got applied after you know clearing the btp session that's all pretty much in this quick lab hopefully you got the idea you know if for any reason if you need to ever change the default administrative distances you need you can go ahead and make use of the distance bgp command and this command needs three arguments the distance for external internal and the local that'll be all for this lab i will see you guys in the next lab thank you